Alright, so you've downloaded the mod pack, you got multiplayer, you can connect to servers, but you want to host your own server so you can play with your friends. If you do not have the mod pack yet, I will have a video card in the corner showing you how to install the mod pack, which includes multiplayer. Now you probably noticed, if you go to the server browser, you see there's a host server button. I'm not going to show you how that works, I don't even know if it works anymore. I'm going to show you how to actually get the server and run the server. So the first thing you're going to have to do is join the Getting Over It Multiplayer Discord server, and I'll have the link for that in the description. Then you can go over to the download channel and you can download the Getting Over It Multiplayer server. So we're just going to download that. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to do everything on the desktop. Now that we have this downloaded, let's just throw it on the desktop. And we can just open up the zip file with Explorer. Then I'm just going to take all the files and extract them into a folder. I made a folder called Goy Server. We're going to throw it in there. Now you've got the files and you've got the server.exe, but when you launch it, nothing happens. It comes up, it closes. So we're going to have to make a batch file to launch the server with the settings we want. So let's open up Notepad. I'm going to use Notepad++. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the server and do right click properties. And you'll have under location, you'll have the file path right here. So we're just going to copy the file path. We're going to do CD space and then just paste that file path. And that's where your server is located. Then we're just going to enter new line. Then we'll go back to this properties. We'll just copy the name of the server. Paste that in. So now we're giving the directory and we're giving the, the program we want to execute. Now here's where we're going to enter our server settings. So for our settings here, the settings that you have, uh, host name, so this is the server name that will be shown in the browser. Private, if you do private, it won't show up in the browser, so only people with the IP address will be able to connect, so you can do private one with your friends. Uh, max players, so the max number of players allowed on the server. What port people will be connecting to, so they'll type in your address and then the port. And yes, you will have the port forward, or use Hamachi if you've ever used Hamachi before. And then the last option you have is no Steam. No Steam allows people that don't own the game on Steam to connect to your server. However, their user identity will be limited to their IP. So if you want to ban someone, you can ban their IP, but people know how to change their IPs these days. So they can probably get back onto your server if they want. So for public servers, I would definitely recommend not using the no Steam option, at least if you want to be able to moderate your servers decently. So first up, host name host name and then we're going to put in quotations dum dums server then you can do dash dash private if you want it to be a private server and not show up in the server browser then we'll do dash dash max players do 50 say and then we're going to do dash dash port i'm just going to do 25555 that's going to be our port and i'm not going to use no steam now that you get your server settings are done you can do save as and for the name, whatever you want your server launch thing to be, we'll just make it start and then .bat. You want to save it as a batch file, not a text file. Okay, now we go back to our desktop and we have this start.bat file and we're just going to run that. Allow access. And now to test that your server is working, you're going to want to open command prompt. So just type in cmd and type in ip config. Then you get your IP4, which is your local IP address, and you can just copy that. Launch getting over it. Name a multiplayer, new game. Go to your server browser. And now we made our server private, so it doesn't show up here, right? So we're going to do connect to IP. We can paste in the IP4 that we got from our IP config. Put a colon and the port. So 25555 is the port that we set up. Connect. You can close the server browser. Boom, connected to server. And then I can tab back out in here and see Codium join the server. Perfect. So now we know the server is working, but you have not yet port forwarded so people won't be able to join. So now you're either going to have to use Hamachi. If you know how to do that, you can go ahead and use that. Otherwise, you're going to have to port forward. It's going to be different depending on everyone's modem or router. They're all different. Most of the time, what you can do is go on your browser, type in 192.168.0.1, press enter. It'll bring you to your router or modem's login. And then after you log in with your Wi-Fi or router password, you will get something like this. This is an example of a D-Link router with the port 25050 that has been forwarded. Once you have port forward, you can go ahead and find your public IP. A quick way to do it is just by Googling my IP. My IP, boom, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to show what my IP is. Once you have port forwarded, you connect the same way, except you can give your friends, obviously only trusted people, your IP address, and they will put that here, and then the port 25555, or whatever you made your port that you also port forwarded. Now, if you do want to make a public server, all we have to do 
Now to close the server, I'm just going to type exit. And we'll go back to our settings. And we're just going to get rid of this private. And then we'll change something else. We'll change our max players to 25. Then we're going to save as, start.batch, replace. Yes, it's not letting me replace it because I have it open apparently. I'll just rename this one to start public for public server, I guess. So now we also, so now we actually have a private setup and a public setup. So we're going to run the public server setup. There you go. Now you can see it's updated to 25 players. And then you go into the server browser and it should come up right here. Now I don't actually have the port forwarded, so it's not coming up. But as you can see, I do have my main server running, which is off of a virtual private server somewhere else. And that's how you're setting up a getting over to server. And now there's a few other things you might want to know. You can type in help and it gives you all the commands and everything you have to know and everything you need to know to moderate and whatever to moderate your server and such. Uh, some of these things like pot goldness and pot color might not work anymore because they're using old versions of the game with different shaders. But the main thing you're going to want this for is how to ban players, ban their IPs, ban their Steam IDs, etc. Anyway, I hope this helped. Enjoy playing with your friends. Leave a thumbs up. Bye bye.